Today, I want to talk about JBS, the meat producer that's listed in Brazil. In 2017, it was part of a corruption scandal, it was fined and the stock fell to under seven reals. Since then, management's talked about turnaround, cleaning up governance and the stock has tripled. We ran the company through our governance, accounting and peer performance reviews to see what exactly had happened and whether we believed that the share price rise was fair. What we found is quite a concern. First, we agree. The risk of the company going bust or collapsing imminently has receded. However, beyond that, little else has changed. Before we go on, I must note that under Hong Kong SFC regulations, we're not allowed to give recommendations and none of what I'm about to say should be construed as investment advice. As usual, we're going to review the company using our three key criteria of governance, accounting and peer performance. From a governance perspective, we note the company is controlled by the Batista family. Prior to the corruption scandal, both brothers are on the board. Following it, one had to resign. They've talked about improving corporate governance, but we think this is just a facade. There used to be a very large reported related party supply contract. What they've done, the supply contract continues, but they've inserted a third party go-between, so therefore it no longer needs to be reported. In Brazil, JBS was, and still is, a low-margin business that generates minimal cash flow. In fact, nearly all of its overseas acquisitions were funded on the back of close relationships with Brazilian banks that had extremely generous lending policies. To comply, JBS has been reducing its Brazilian debt, which is one of the reasons we think the markets got excited. However, perhaps the market hasn't noticed that to do this they've been manipulating their working capital and raising money offshore. This debt raising is being obscured on consolidation because Pilgrim's Pride, the US listed subsidiary, is piling up cash. The problem for JBS shareholders is A, there's FX risk, and B, JBS shareholders don't have direct access to Pilgrim's Pride's cash flow. Performance is also a problem. Over the last few years, revenues have been largely unchanged and margins have fallen. Now, some might say that their somewhat inferior margins present an opportunity. We look at it and say what it really reveals is the cost of the family supply contract. Recently, net incomes improved. But this merely reflects tax credits. Useful, but hardly the basis on which the share price should triple or to justify a long-term investment thesis. If you'd like to know more, please visit our website or get in touch by email. Many thanks for your time.